Hey guys, it's Renee. So this phone case is actually really easy. First thing I'm going to be doing is uh, using my wet acrylic paint and my brush. This is actually a makeup brush, like foundation kind of, but I use this for painting because I like the size of it and I like the bristles. Now my phone case is an acrylic one. This used to be clear at some point, but this is the one that I used to just paint over it like I'm going to be doing right now. And yeah, I'm just going to be covering this in white acrylic paint, giving this a few coats. You can start off with a white phone case if you prefer, or just use white spray paint. I prefer to hand paint this because it relaxes me. I'm going to let it dry between coats over bottles of paint like this. And this is where I cover the top part. Now, if this is going to be an abstract or just a funky-ish watermelon, I'm going to be using a couple of teals turquoise uh, greens rather than like greens and then my red now i'm going to be using this tool this is a dotting tool that is essentially a toothpick i do have the diy for this one if you want to check it out this tool is actually really easy to make but yeah first i'm going to be adding a lot of like tiny dots with my darker teal and just add the other shade of teal cleaning my dotting tool with my napkin with some water and then i'm going to leave a small white gap and then going with my red, adding dots from there to the top. Because I didn't have my uh, pink acrylic paint here, I'm just going to be mixing my red and my white acrylic paint. And I'm going to be pretty much making a pink out of those. And I'm going to be adding lots of more pink dots in between my red ones. Just making this kind of like dimensional. I didn't want all my dots to be green and red. Then I decided to add another like teal and the name of this one is Key West. I'm going to be adding more dimension again to my green part, doing the same thing. And yeah, I just uh, kept on adding more dots as I saw it needed and where it needed. If I saw a white space, I covered it until it was more covered, but I could still see the white. Then I'm going to be taking some black acrylic paint, this other dotting tool that I did the DIY as well and my brush. This is another makeup brush. Uh, for this one, I'm going to be just using the back part of this as a big dotting tool. I'm going to be adding a few dots all over the place and then just making them into seats with my dotting tool by just dragging the paint from like the dot towards the top and then just working on the shape. At first I added a few, then I realized I needed more and went back and added more. Now as a final step, I'm going to be adding some gloss to protect the design and make this last longer to make the colors pop up a lot more i'm going to be working outside using my glove and ignore that black edge that i have here i didn't like it and i just went and covered it with white paint but yeah guys this is pretty much a phone case that i want to share with you i really like it i think it's really cute it's fun to look at it was fun to make it's fresh perfect for the summer and kind of like abstract ish i think that's how we see it anyways and hopefully you like it too. I share a bit of everything here. DIYs and crafts, desserts, home decor, accessories, nail care, reviews, and phone cases. Subscribe for more if you like this. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.